Hi, I'm Paulette Deckers, uh, the owner of the Northwest Bridal Showcase, and today we are talking with Ross Vanderveer and Erica Peterson from Planning Savvy, and they are wedding and event coordinators. Today they're going to cover some tips on why it's important to hire a professional uh, like them for planning your wedding or your special occasion event. So our first question is, why do brides and grooms need a planner? I'll take that. Um, so I think that, you know, um, brides and grooms need a planner because they want to enjoy their special day. It's their big day. And if they're worrying about all the little details, you know, did the tables get set up correctly? Did their vendors show up on time? Is something missing? They don't want to be the ones to worry about that. That's where planners come in. You know, we take care of all those details. We're there with them from the very beginning of when they're planning the process, if they choose to pick us at that time. We're there through all the formalities of the day. We'll make sure that everybody arrives on time, they get down the aisle on time, um, get them to the end of the night, and it just makes it a nice day where they can actually sit back and relax and enjoy it and remember the good stuff and not, oh my gosh, I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off all day. So, <laughs> right. yeah. so basically it just takes a little stress out it of the does. day and, and allows the bride and the groom to enjoy some things and know that um, all the important details are going to be in, in the hands of a professional like yourself. Absolutely. And you, of course, right? yeah. <laughs> The two of you. <laughs> Is it important to not have a family member, a friend, a, you know, uh, somebody take that role on for you? Why is that important? Um, because they're here to enjoy the day with you. They want to watch you walk down the aisle, especially if it's a mom or, you know, a dad. They want to really take in the moment. It's great for, you know, them to be helping with dropping stuff off and getting involved like that and, you know, getting all the items coordinated. But when it comes to the day of, you know, especially when you're walking down the aisle, you want to not have a bridesmaid be in charge because they have to walk down the aisle. And so who's left with the bride if a bridesmaid's already down at the front? Yeah. So this way you have a coordinator, you don't have to stress about it, and you can just, you know, everybody who's family, friends, can enjoy it and have fun. They're a guest. Yeah, yeah. and They're it makes guest. perfect sense because they have roles in the wedding as well and that they are going to need to, you know, be a part of that, whether it's right. pictures or whatever. Exactly. And so having them taking care of something on the side is going to be a little a more stressful for them, and then they may not be available at the times you need them, right? right. And yeah. it's certainly okay, like the process leading up, and you know, going to the dress shopping and helping, going on a catering, oh. tasting thing. Sure, that's great. Have them involved in that, but but when it comes to the, the day, day of, of, let them just enjoy <laughs> it as much and remember all the take in all the memories. Right. And, and yeah, yeah, not have that stress factor going for themselves as well. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. and I keep going back to that stress factor because it is really important and I think that's the one thing that you've spent all this time and all this money and all this, you know, dreaming right. about your wedding and you don't want to get to the day of and just be like, well, I'm not wanting to tear your hair out. You want to be able yeah. to enjoy it as much and as you can. And let it go because can. you've set it all up yeah. and now leave it in the professional's hands. The to, capable hands yeah, of, right. of and the wedding planner. And there's not much that can change at that point. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so um, fact or fiction, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a wedding planner is expensive addition to the wedding. I'm going to say absolutely fiction, you know, and I get in the past, it was always something you'd see in the movies, on TV, you know, the rich and famous always have these lavish wedding planners and, you know, these incredible events where the bride doesn't lift a finger. Well, it's a lot different anymore. Um, you know, there's, there's so many planners out there and there's somebody to, to just meet almost any budget. So if you want to have that situation where you want to not lift a finger, just show up and offer your opinion on something and, and say, that's it, take it away, you can definitely find that. But um, I know I can speak for us that we definitely think about the couples that are watching their bottom line and they want to have a wedding, but they also want to be able to walk out of this into a new relationship and not be paying bills for the rest of their life, you know, so that you have to think about that. And so that's something that we started Planning Savvy with was on the notion that not everybody can afford the caviar, but they want, they have those, you know, champagne dreams. So, you know, you have to, to remember that with your business. And we have a lot of those couples that we work with that um, just really need the guidance and, and we can offer our professional opinions and our support and guidance throughout the whole process and not charge them an arm and a leg. So I think that anymore you can find that. That's really nice. So to, just to know that there are different levels of service and that <clears> not <throat> every level of service is going to be an, a, a huge addition or expense right. to their budget. 
it, I think bottom line, it's, yeah. it's going to help them rather than hurt them. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Right. I wish that I could redo my life <laughs> <laughs> with a planner yeah. because, oh my gosh, 20 years ago, it was so different then. <laughs> yes, it so, was. So <laughs> leading into that, what yeah. does a planner do? What do you guys do that makes it so much more better for the bride and the groom right. and the family? Right. Um, well, we do different levels of packages. So um, our day of coordination is probably our most popular, but it's uh, basically, you know, you just want help the day of, you want to get down that aisle, get through all the formalities, you know, the toasts and the throwing the bouquet and, you know, the ceremony and, and get through that without a stress. And then we help with a few hours before and we meet with them a couple months before and we do a detailed timeline with them for the entire for the day. For the entire day. So day of coordination is our first one and it's, it, you know, it's basically what it says, it's day of coordination. And then we move into, um, like we also have a top of the line yeah. package too. And, and the top of the line, like I said, was kind of the, the bells and whistles, you know. Mm -hmm. they, they get to offer their opinion on, you know, colors, theme, style. They want to have a barn wedding or they want to have a formal downtown kind of soiree, that kind of a thing. But then they can leave it on our hands and we set up all the appointments, whether they want to come or not is up to them. You know, I, we love for them to be there, like for a tasting and cakes and things like that. But if they choose not to, then we'll just say, look, we have our expert opinion on this. We've got these great vendors. We'll set it up for them, do it with them. We'll sit down with them so that they know how the day is going to progress, whether or not they want to be involved with all of it. The day of, they need to have a good understanding of how it's going to go. And they just get to sit back and relax and enjoy every minute and not lift a finger. So that's kind of our, yeah. our top one. But then we have a middle package too, which is right in the middle. Kind so middle. we do some of the work, they do some of the work. You know, maybe they live out of town and their mom is here. That mm -hmm. happens a lot. Yes, so, you know, they don't want to put all of it on their mom, but they need the extra assistance, but they still want to plan and they still want to book caters and be involved with like, you know, the dress fittings and they want to do a lot of the stuff, but they, they're not here or, or they don't know where to start. Exactly. Right. A lot of them don't know where to start. Right. And I think that's where having a planner is so beneficial because you guys already know where to start. You've been there yes. many times. You've seen other brides go through the process and you can kind of lead them. You know, once you get a good idea, a good feel for what they want and what they're looking for, then you can kind of lead them down the path that you think will best suit their needs. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and everybody is different, you know? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Everybody is different. Everybody so is different. It makes different. a big difference. And then what we do with all of our packages is that we sit down with them two months prior, we get all their contracts, put it together in a big package, and then we do a detailed timeline. And we're talking down to every five minutes of the entire day, and not just the day. Like if there's a special event happening the week of and all the bridesmaids are getting together for a, you know, favor party or they're doing a brunch or a golf tournament with the guys the morning of, we put everything in there. So it's not just the hours that we're actually there. It's every detail leading up to it. They're, they're picking up their own flowers or they have to go get a dress fitting last minute. Anything that's that kind of that week of, we put in the timeline so everybody knows. And then once we get it down to all the fine tuning is done back and forth, we send it out to all their vendors, venues, and anybody who is um, like an important part of it. So say the moms at the end of the night are taking their decor or they have, you know, Uncle Joe is taking down extra lighting or anything like that. At the end of the night, we put every single detail in there and then we send it out to all of those people. So they have an idea of what's going on too. What a great service. It's like the Bible for the day. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, yeah, what a huge relief because that whole week right. is, uh, there's so much going on. You're picking things up, exactly. you know, picking up the Texas, the dress, the, yeah. you know, checking on the final details, and it's so nice to know that somebody's basically got that all, like you said, Bible mm -hmm. for the day, it's totally. all handled. And they don't have to think, they just look at it and say, this time I'm supposed to be here doing this, and it makes it real easy, because you, you start forgetting things. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> all that sleep deprivation. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, um, so, so is it necessary to have a wedding planner, um, I mean, like, what's the difference between you and, say, an on-site coordinator? Sure. Yeah, so... Um, on-site coordinators, they're for the building usually, uh, for the venue itself. So maybe they have somebody there, um, it just depends. You have to talk with that venue and see what each of those coordinators do. Um, some are just like, you have a full kitchen at the space, but maybe the oven isn't working right. Oh, or know, yeah. they need to know where the brooms are to clean up at the end of the night. Um, maybe you run out of toilet paper in the bathrooms <laughs> or whatever it may be, or you need another table or something like that. It's just site related. But others um, do a little bit more coordination, uh, but they might not walk you down the aisle and they might not you know, help you with all the little details leading up. They're just 
building oriented. Building oriented, venue oriented. Okay, exactly. and so they'll know all like all the little ins and outs of their specific location. And so you still need somebody to you know get you down the aisle. They're not going to be sitting there timing it off vendors. and coordinating everything. Mm -hmm. And and they don't have contracts from every single vendor probably, so they don't know when the cake is supposed to arrive and the florist is supposed to arrive to do centerpieces and things like that. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But they're there on site in case you need yes. something in an emergency. Right. And that's great. So because... that, that's where they're not going to be able to replace what you guys do, but they'll no. they'll have an intimate knowledge of the venue, and that's important. And as it well. helps a lot. Yeah. It really yeah. is nice to have that because then, as a planner, we have a go-to person. Right. Exactly. Which is really nice. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Especially for when you run out of that toilet. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, um, so I'm guessing some of the girls probably think, well, you know, if I hire a coordinator, I'm not going to be able to do all the things I want to do, or maybe I won't be as involved as I, I originally thought I was going to be in planning my wedding. Is that right? Is that true? I don't think so. And, and the reason why I say that is because most planners like us, we have different levels of service. So if they want to be really involved, absolutely. That's where something just like the day of coordination where they can't necessarily be involved. If they're taking pictures, right. they can't coordinate where the cake is going to be placed. So um, for somebody that really does want to be involved, there's options. And if they don't, you know, if they talk to a planner and they don't have that option, then shop around. Again, like I said, there are so many different planners at all different levels of service. So it, it really just depends on what they're looking for. They're going to find somebody. So, you know, like we have three different packages. We have that low, medium, and high. Mm -hmm. For somebody that really wants to be involved, that day of coordination is fantastic. We are there the day of. We help them with the rehearsal because sometimes they have maybe an officiant that is a brother that got ordained or that kind of a thing. And they don't know how the whole thing is supposed to work. So we're there to help with that kind of a thing. We're helped, you know, make them get down the aisle. But they so want to do. It's very, down the aisle. It is. People they don't know how to line exactly. up. They freak out. You know. So, but maybe they're doing everything. They booked all their vendors ahead of time. They've done every single tasting. They've done every single meeting. They've looked at all the catalogs for stationery. They wanted to do every little detail like that. They, you know, and we have a lot that do kind of DIY projects. You know, they'll come right. up with their own favors or party <laughs> games or whatever. So they get to do all that. But then there's. The but then things when that, it comes to the day yeah, of, they right. don't. They just there. They've set it all up so then they can have somebody yeah. else execute they, it. For they them. set it up success for us to right. help just pull it all off, pull it together. So I, I don't think, to answer your question, no, I don't think so. I, I think that they, that whatever level of service they need, they can find. Okay. Perfect. Right. Yeah, that's great. And I'm sure that that's um, a relief for some girls. Like you said, there are a lot of do-it-yourself right. girls out there these days. It's there a are. big trend right now. And, um, you know, and, and they want to do as much as they can, but it's nice to know that you're on the back end making sure that everything flows smoothly for right. them when they aren't available, like you said. So. Sure. Um, so I know another question that a lot of people wonder about is, you know, are you able to get them discounts on different services or on the venue because you've already got that relationship with the potential, you know, location that they'll be holding their wedding. Absolutely. That's a yes and no answer. <laughs> Sometimes um, if we work closely with a photographer, let's say, um, they might give you a discount because if you like recommend them, mm -hmm. um, they might give you a discount offer. Like a right. Exactly. Yeah, they pass it along to the client. Um, but it's not always the case. And another thing is we're planning savvy. We came up with our name and our whole the, what we are is based on, um, you know, when the recession was happening and a lot of people were doing DIY weddings, you know, we, we found a lot of vendors that um, were great, a great price and they were wonderful people to work with and we got to know them. We um, have an online resource guide that we um, dealt with and we would refer all those people. So they're already such a great price that to be honest, a discount would, you know, <laughs> they're already at like a savvy price as it is right so yeah so basically right. what you're saying is you so they have a budget and you guys can help coordinate the the appropriate uh, vendor right. for their budget and, right and you have lots of options and sometimes a, a bride and groom will go into a wedding or a couple in general will go into a wedding and they think oh well so and so had this and this and this but maybe we can say, well, we have one person that could kind of cover this and that's going to save you some money. So mm -hmm. it may not be a discount, but just our expertise alone will help them kind of cut certain corners if they don't necessarily need that extra thing. So that helps out too. So it, you know, kind of curves their spending. 
so which yeah. is always nice. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any place that you can save money in your wedding planning process is, is great. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Okay. More fun. Um, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so uh, for our last question, uh, is it worth hiring a planner? I mean, is it worth the money that is spent on hiring you guys? Absolutely. Every penny. Okay. You know, I, I didn't have a planner at my wedding. I had an on-site coordinator. And if I could go back, it would be so nice because I remember that feel of walking down the aisle and going, do I need to go yet? <laughs> do I need to go yet? <laughs> so, you know, absolutely. Just to be able to, to relax and enjoy every minute is worth it. I agree. Like yeah. I said, if I could redo my wedding, I would. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't a do-it-yourselfer, but I did pretty much the whole right. thing from start to finish. And while it was a beautiful day, and it, I, think a job. Every, I think everything turned out well, <laughs> it, it is a job. And I know for a lot of our girls these days, you know, they're working full time. Right. And to literally plan a wedding is another full time job in and of itself. So yes. my right. recommendation would be if, if you have the time, uh, if you have the budget, definitely consider hiring a wedding planner. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you ladies for all your great yeah, tips. I know that there is at least one awesome golden nugget that they will get out of uh, watching our video today. I hope so. Thank and you. if you guys have any more information, um, you can visit Erica and Rasa at planningsavvy.com. Thank you. All right. Thanks ladies. Thank you.